Just think right here. Or... Yeah, it'd make me feel a lot more confident. Sounds good. good. Maybe we All could right. dig with your spear. Sounds good. Oh, <laughs> son of a Namibia, the big five all inhabit this land, plus 11 species of venomous snakes. You've got very dangerous animals that have teeth, venom, and claws that'll take you out of the game in a heartbeat. Temperatures can reach up to 115 degrees. Dehydration's just a given. You could die out here. This probably isn't the best place to crash and burn a balloon. We've got our hot air balloon. We now have to figure out what we're going to take. And that's empty for sure. For them to ignite these burners, they have to have some kind of flint striker. So hopefully that thing is around here. Oh, here it is, Matt. Here's the flint striker right here. Oh, nice. Let's see if that thing works, bro. Yeah, this is throwing a nice heavy spark. That's a no-brainer getting a fire started for Matt and I. Hey, Matt, hold on. Look at this. Wow, that's a beauty. Look at that horn. Dude, that gives me an idea, actually. As we're walking, there's a skull of an oryx there, and there's still a, a great horn attached. Oh, button. Dude, look at that thing. That's like a ready-made freaking spear. First thing that pops into my mind is I'm making a spear. This is Mother Nature's resource that she's just handed me on a silver platter, and I'm going to use it. That might do it. Upgrade complete. This horn is fitting really nicely on this stick. Very simple, down and dirty spear. Oh yeah, that's not gonna come off. Check that out. It's more like it. Yeah, I'm liking that rock outcrop. I mean, it looks like an easy climb and we have a great vantage point up there. After you. This place is relatively flat and for us to see where we're going, we've got to get up to see out. Balloons up at the top. Oh. Man, there are tons of them. There's at least 10 or 15 right here. We have no choice. We have to get up there to see where we're going. But I have no idea how these baboons are going to react to us. Let's see why the baboons like it up here. Let's see everything. Why don't we drop down there, get into that green area, and take a look? Yeah, I'm game. Did you hear that? Yeah, that's the alpha male sitting right there, man. Ooh, he's getting mad. The alpha males are big. They have large fangs. They have the ability to completely tear you apart. We have got to find another way off of this rock ledge. We're cliffed off up here. What do you got, bro? I don't think we can scramble down, but if you toss me the rope, we can anchor it here. That's what you're going to use to sit in, and you're going to use the snap links and just repel down. Off Climbing up to get a vantage point turned into quite the ordeal. We weren't expecting to be chased off a rock by baboons or pulling out the rope for rappel. So we spent some extra time up there, extra energy, but hopefully what we saw up there is going to put us in a better position. All right. That was close. I hope that riverbed has some water, because that just might make this climb worth it. Oh, this is looking good. All right, man. You know, Matt, why don't we just dig a little hole right there and just filter out some of the nastier <laughs> instead of just taking it right out? Are you, you good with that? Yeah, that's a little extra step, but I'm on board. Oh, <laughs> son of a <laughs> There's a snake right there. Bro, that's a puff adder. That thing is super venomous. That <laughs> close. Hey, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Dude, that's food. You know how I feel about killing snakes, though. Yeah, I know how you feel about killing snakes, Matt, but I'll tell you right now, that is a meal for us. I eat them sometimes, but it's kind of a desperate measure. I don't I think we really need it. Then what do you plan on eating? There's tons of cattail roots around here. It's good bro, starch. Bro. Matt has a very odd affinity for snakes. He's very apprehensive about killing them. That's protein that we need. And the thing almost bit me. He seems pretty chill now. Yeah, him. Over. 
Now that ain't no cattail, but that's food. There's a little protein there. I won't argue with that. I know looking at Matt, he's not happy with me right now, but I think later on, once we eat it, he'll forgive me. Joe and Matt have divided forces to secure the materials they need to start a fire for water purification. Perfect. But upon returning to their shelter site, they discover that it has been ransacked. What the hell? Oh man, this is not looking good. The tarp's torn down, the rope's slung over the rock. We definitely didn't leave it that way. Somebody or something came in here and changed this camp up. What the hell happened here? Dude, look right here. Oh man, that's baboon tracks. That's baboon right there. And there's a big pile right there. It's up on the rock too. These baboons came here with a very specific intent and it was probably to tell us to off. Man, it stinks in here now. God dang. They completely rat screwed our camp. That snake's gone, so there's so much for dinner. Those baboons stole our only source of food, so plan B for Matt and I right now is to snare a warthog. Take a look out there. You see those holes? Earlier, I saw a warthog back his little ass right into that hole right there. And he has not come out yet. So what I'm thinking is maybe setting up a few snares and see if we can snag one of these things, dude. OK. Yeah. So we need to have a game plan before we do this. Yeah, if you can get some control on the back legs, I'll just come in and cut the throat. We're not snaring a rabbit here. This is a large animal. It's got big teeth. It's got tusks. And it's going to require some teamwork to make this happen. I know there's a warthog in that hole. What I'm thinking about doing is just taking one of the strands, and that way I can actually make a bite in it so when it gets snared, It'll tighten. I've set out a lot of snares, and most of the time I set them out, it's like a hope and pray thing. But I know there is an animal in that hole. So my chances of setting a snare out and catching an animal right now is very good. Last thing I need is that damn thing getting loose. This cannot come undone. This is a very dicey spot. It's like standing in front of a loaded gun. If that thing came out right now, I'd have my hands full. This has got to be bomb-proof. It cannot come out. If we snare one of these things, this has got to stay anchored. Ah! That ain't going anywhere. All I'm going to do right now is get a couple little sticks to hold this snare open. I think what I'm going to do, too, is put some foliage on the outside of this thing. That way, if he comes out, he can't go left or right. He's got to come out this way. It's just increasing my odds of snagging him. Oh. The spear. Caught in the snare trap that Joe set up the night before. I've got him on there. Matt grabs a spear, we take off running, and there is a warthog caught head first, just like I thought we'd get him. Matt, get in front of him. I'm gonna maneuver on this animal, grab its back legs, and Matt is either gonna cut its throat or spear it. Why don't I go clean him? You get a fire going. Sure, you got it. Hungry. Give me some, brother. Nice work. That was a nice snare set. Yeah, it worked out pretty well, Matt. It's all about the planning, brother. Dude, I'm cutting the back straps out for us. Look at that. Oh, mm -hmm. perfect. I love back straps out of a deer, so the first thing we're going to eat on this warthog is a back strap. Hey, Matt. Yeah, we're good to go, man. Oh, look at that. Nice, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Wow. That's really good. Mm. Well, if we could keep on an easy path like this, we should yeah. be able to make a few miles. I agree. This looks like the last of the water here. Man, I had a bad feeling that was going to happen. This water has petered out, but Matt and I are going to continue to follow this riverbed. Keep on trucking. And hopefully leads us to either a larger body of water or a village. There's a big pond or body of water here. All right, we're getting warmer. Look at all the plants over there. They look like they've been completely mowed down by animals. Wow, it stinks, man. Yeah, this pond's been used heavy. But that certainly looks like it's been grazed or something, and I'm not talking about wild animals either. Yeah, definitely. Hey, there's some sheep coming up the valley over there. Where? A whole little pack of them. See them? 
Oh, dude, there's a guy hey, right there. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Hello! It's bringing the whole flock down here. Here you go. <laughs> In a survival situation, it's easy to feel like time is running out, but you have to be able to listen to your body, regroup, reassess your situation, then move on. Hello, sir. Hi. This is Madam Joe. Nice to meet you.